Okay, welcome back to another video, another main review. As I said, uh, it's Creepy Caves After Dark review this time. Um, I've got Ryan here with me. Hello there, guys. He hasn't done the maze, but he is going to be telling me what he thinks about what went down. And let's just say a lot went down. Just a quick disclaimer, all the expression, uh, the, well, the opinions in this video are my own and are Ryan's own. We are not out to offend people. We are just to give our personal opinion on this attraction. So let's start off with pretty much what Creepy Games After Dark is. It's a VIP experience, £10 extra. As far as I'm aware, no annual pass discount as well. And um, it takes it takes Creepy Caves to another level, pretty much. Um, I'm going to put that back a bit. But yeah, it's like none of the theming or anything inside changes. It's just the way you experience the maze. Please be aware that I will be giving spoilers and there will be strong language throughout. So if you don't like strong language, I advise you leave now. Thank you. Right. Um, so groups. You get put in a group of about, I think we were in a group of nine so you have to sign a disclaimer for this maze which tells you how insane it's going to get um it's current, it's recommended 13 plus now i will tell i you want to hear this you'll expect you'll see why i think it shouldn't be 13 plus so you wait in your group you don't have a safety briefing because you've obviously signed a disclaimer and the secret agent they come out and they forcibly grab you and pull you into the tent and you get lined up and you get frisk searched. So you get patted down, you get touched. That is one thing about Creepy Games of the Dark is you will get touched in multiple ways. Um, so yeah, and then the main guy comes out and he says along the lines of, We've had a fuck enough of people coming down to these caves and ruining our line of work and that they, they're fed up of all like the dickheads coming through and taking a piss. And it adds a new story to it, really. It adds a different story to Creepy Caves. And then after that, uh, while you're in that tent, a lot went down. Uh, a couple of us got slapped. I got grabbed by the face. And got shouted at. Fucking terrified me. It really did. And then you go down the staircase as normal. Uh, and you wait outside the decontamination chamber. Where once again. Some of us got put in headlocks. Some of us got pinned to the floor. And you go into the decontamination area. And. One of the members of the group. Gets put on their knees. And gets threatened to be hit with a baseball bat. It was it was hilarious but scary at the same time. After the decontamination scene, you go into the um, lab where there's the fridge. That hasn't changed, apart from we got called a bunch of fucking millennials, which was funny as fuck. Um, yeah, and you go into the plant scene. That's the same, but this time. Uh, when you go to meet Dr. Burke, the guy says he's probably out having a fag break, the old todger. Um, and it gets, it's the same sequence. But apart from this time, as soon as the red lights go on, the actor goes, for fuck's sake. Like, it was funny as hell. That whole sequence the same. Then you go up to go into the caves, and then he says, you better be ready. Do not touch those inside. But boy, are they going to fucking touch you. At that point, I was like, fuck this. Everything's about to go out the fucking window. You go into the caves, and as soon as we walked in, the girl in front of me got snatched. She got pulled through a door. I was at the back of the group. I started off being at the front of the group, ended up being at the back. Uh, there was people with metal sheets banging them against the walls. Um, and then halfway through, there's a little crawl section. I came out the crawl section, an actor pulled my hood up, sent me through a door, and then I had to do the crawl section again, which was funny as fuck. And then uh, I got pushed around. 
I got licked, kissed, uh, got pulled back, and then Ow. after that, I got held back and had a hood put over my head and walked through to the ending. Now, at this point, I could not see a fucking thing. I could not see a thing. I was genuinely terrified at this point. I was honestly terrified. And then the finale, you all get put on your knees. And the video inside the pre-show still, uh, no, sorry, the finale, it still plays. But you can't see it. So it, it sort of makes sense, but it doesn't. All the effects are the same. And then the smoke comes up on the floor. You get taken, the hoods are taken off. And fuck me, everything goes to shit. Because with me, I got uh, put in a headlock and put down to the floor. I got put near someone's crotch, which went fucking insane. And then shout out to James. He fucking grabbed me, picked me up, quite literally, put me over his shoulder and carried me out that maze. It was the most funniest but yet scariest maze I've done. Uh, me personally, I don't think it should be a 13 plus. I think it's borderline 15, maybe even 18. It's it's on the level of subspecies at Owen Towers where you're getting touched and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know what you think, Ryan. See, I think um, totally the same um, about Creepy Caves at Chess in Turn. Um, I don't think a 13 year old would be able to cope would with Would be able to cope with getting put in a headlock, having a bag over his head, getting shouted at the whole time. I think I totally agree with you. Maybe borderline 15, 16. I mean, it's just not 13. Can I just mention, in it's the ending, 13. I did get grinded on the back by a woman. Yeah. It gets out of hand. It, it is surprising. It's on. It, it is the most intense maze I've ever done. I'm 17, and that generally terrified me. You're 18 tomorrow. Yeah, I'm 18 it's tomorrow. 18 tomorrow. And that was generally terrifying. And I think, I think I could just about cope with it. And I was shitting myself going in. I mean, fair play to Chesington. I mean, I must say. We're privileged to be able to live so close to these wonderful... It's only like an hour or so away. And I mean, like, you look at people in, like, Gloucester and that. Yeah, like, yeah, are they nearer to Alton Towers and that? Which is a great park. I've never been. I've, I've never been, but I'm hoping to go down in 2020. I want to be down there next year, but... We, it all depends. We are so lucky to have these great parks, and I mean... Clap. A clap to Chesington, I mean... Yeah, Creepy Caves After Dark... Do I think it's going to come back? Well, they've said the maze is going to come back, like the normal version. I can't see them not bringing back After Dark, because After Dark went so well. Me, personally, I'd like to see it go down to £5, maybe. It's maybe. a little bit expensive, I mean. Considering you pay the entry on the day, which is like 50, 60 quid. Which, which 50, 60 quid is not bad. It's not bad. To go to a nice family... That is the thing about Creepy Cave, yeah. it's in a family park, so I don't think anyone would expect it to be that intense. A lot of people are saying it's on the same par of the old Face It Alone experiences, which um, Thorpe used to do till 2016, and then they took it out because it saw a decline in popularity. But yeah, if you didn't get to experience Creepy Caves after dark, you missed out. Like, shout out to that whole cast in there. I missed out. Yeah. I am, um, I'm gutted. I'm, gonna, I'm gutted. I'm definitely going to get you in there next year. Can I just mention... You'll have to drug me. Because yeah. <laughs> I... after hearing about what happened to him, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to fucking shit my pants. For all, for, all we, for all we know, next year they could take it up another level, which I don't think they... I, I can't see them taking it up. If anymore. they do, it needs to be 15, 16 plus. Yeah. Funny thing is, they're not even asking for ID, so an 11-year-old could come up and do that. Now, I think if an 11 year old came up and did that, I don't... I think they'd be gone after the first... I, yeah, I don't the think there's no way. And, like, do you know what I really want to see next year? I really want to see, like, Portons do yeah, something I, like this. Yeah, since I did Creepy Caves last year, I've been saying, and I've said to you on multiple occasions, I want Portons to do a maze like that. Don't get me wrong, Big Boo Barn yeah. this year, it's got a maze in there. But it's just one actor. I feel like a maze like Creepy Caves 
would work at Paul. Maybe, maybe a little because bit you know, less um, intense. Maybe you know, a little bit uh, less intense. Oh, trying to think where, you know, Beastie Borrow and Critter Creek. Yeah. They could easily do Creepy Caves in there because yeah. it is an exhibit. Are you talking about that, um, like, like that cave place, like where they have those fish? Yeah, and fish that. and stuff. They, yeah. They could easily, I, I feel like Poland's that would bring a lot of people yeah, in. They could come and I feel like them. with Tornado Springs coming in next year, I feel like we might get like a Wild West. Hold on, is that really next year? Yeah, yeah, it is, mate. Next we year. literally got told about that in what, like, the beginning of January this year. Yeah, we, wow. we finally found out about it. But yeah, guys, at, this... at time of filming, uh, today is the last day that Creepy Caves After Dark is on until next year, as far as we're aware. Um, me personally, I would love to see Creepy Caves off, uh, unearthed as a permanent all year round attraction. I yeah. Think. You gotta think though, like, yeah, Creepy Caves After Dark was brilliant. Uh, the I whole... just can't imagine how warm it would get in there though, I'm sorry. We were in there that... for about half an hour. I'm we not were in even there kidding for about you. half hour. Yeah, but in like the, in, like, the costumes and that, that they Yeah, wear, the actors. That's... Interesting thing is, during the normal version, the actors aren't allowed to touch you, but after park close and when Top. after dark starts they can do whatever the fuck they want literally i just want to say the actors in there are brilliant i've not i as kim said in the beginning of the video i've never been but i have watched it's... i have watched a video with people going through and by their reactions it there are looks there's intense. fully grown women getting picked up and carried throughout the maze like it's mental top like, top marks to james what i will god. say james if what you're watching how the Fuck! Did you manage to pick me up? What? It was funny. Look as at that. him. All right, yeah. Look at him. How the hell would you pick me up, Mush? I'm like six foot one, mate. You it was up. funny. It was so good. I I'd love to go back and do it again, but I just haven't got the money. And I like it was a one day thing. Literally to the actors. If any of them watch it, I've not managed to go. But if you see him around in the maze next year, fucking go for it. Sorry, but. Yeah. You just wait until this camera gets turned off. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below your thoughts on Creepy Caves and After Dark. Um, the and next, I have got another review coming out. There'll be Spiders with the new Family Maze, but that might not come out till tomorrow. Because I don't want to do like three uploads in one day, you know. Got to get on Google preferred, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even monetized yet. Um, but yeah. Shout so, out to Ryan for being in this video. Thank you. And what do you reckon the rating out of 10 for this maze would be? 10 out of 10, like straight up. It's, yeah, it's I better think, than the Creek Freak Massacre at Fork. It is, it's brilliant. I think we have to go on a, on a deuce on that one. Literally, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Actors are brilliant. Theme in there is absolutely you amazing. Think it, it used to be a creepy crawly exhibit, and they've just taken certain bits out and built the maze around it. So it's it is, yeah. Um, personally, I think it's going to win an award this year. I think it's gonna, yeah, it definitely. I think to. it's going to win. There is an award called Best Out of Season Scare Experience. I, there is no it's way it's going to win that. It's there win is that. no way a maze themed like that and set like that. There is no way that it is not going to win an award for that because they have. It has won an award before. I'm just they not. have. They have literally worked so hard. They have worked so hard, and like, I mean, as I mentioned in the last review, like the normal creepy cage won. So I best guys, I keep on touching my hair. My hair best original hair. concept and design at 2018 Scale Awards. So it it's won an award before, so it can do it. It, it can. can. But yeah, uh, I'd be shocked if it doesn't. I will be shocked. If it doesn't win an award, I, I um, think we're going to have to do a protest. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's the it. Brexit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you very much for Ryan for being in this Thank video. Thank you very much, mate. Go check out his channel. Uh, link is in the description or go check the vlog style section. Make sure you subscribe to him. Yeah, Don't just all... subscribe to me. Subscribe to subscribe. him. Subscribe. 300 subscribers. Just around the corner for him. Yeah, 16 subscribers away. 16 subscribers? Wow. I was looking on Twitter the other day and I saw that I wanted to be at 400 by the end of this year. Shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I will see, well, we will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I don't know if Ryan wants to be in the Spiders review or not. Yeah, I will be. I'm over tomorrow yeah. because it's this lad's.
18th, man. Huh? Yeah, if you got any birthday <laughs> messages, please send them. Send us some money. <laughs> really? What? Worth a try. Yeah, worth a try. Guys, we will see you in the next yeah. one. Yeah, see ya.